right, welcome back to the 2019 Cannabis Industry Summit. Joining me now is Steve Hernandez of the North Group. Steve, thanks for joining us. Yeah, nice to meet you. So you're in security. Yes, sir. So that covers a lot of things, right? What are the things that are most pressing in the cannabis industry when it comes to security as it relates to your company? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, due diligence is a big one. I think that's the number one. We're seeing a lot of stakeholders that are looking for some level of due diligence on everything they're doing. Um, cannabis is turning into a corporate ecosystem and all large Fortune 500, Fortune 100 companies have a security director, have a, have a corporate security ecosystem that feeds that risk management profile and helps them understand what their threat matrix is. And that's what we're looking to do. And there's really, when you talk about security, there's a lot of different issues. There's, uh, there could be uh, computer security, right? There could be physical security at plants. There could be so many different aspects of it. What are uh, the frequently asked questions you get when somebody calls up and, and wants information from you? Yeah, a lot of it's physical security. A lot of it is uh, human capital. They want to know how to invest in their human capital, such as active shooter training, um, other risk mitigating factors that, that they can detect and deter. A lot of it is just a lack of knowledge. So we'll get a call that says, I need 10 guys at my location. And then we'll send them, a, we'll send them a, a quote and they realize they, don't, they need one guy. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things for us where I think a lot of it is a relationship to educate the customer mm -hmm. and say, this is what for the right customer, you know, we don't we don't service everybody. We service the right customer. Uh, that's a good fit for us, and we're a good fit for them because we want to help a customer create a full scope project management solution for security within their ecosystem. Isn't it amazing what you can uh, show somebody or what someone can learn just by doing a walkthrough of of their facility? It's like, okay, look, here's your front door, uh, this is not a great place for it. Or here's your exits, here's your this, here's here's various other things. And there are some simple things people can do to make their, their workplace and their facilities safer in general, right? Absolutely, I mean, so a lot of it, we, we say it starts with what we call a TVRA, a Threat Vulnerability Risk Assessment. Everybody should do one, get online, learn to do it yourself, but all of that, whether it's physical or cyber, it all starts with evaluation and analysis of your your threat environment. Demographic, location, how many people you have, how much cash flow you're doing. All these different things go into the risk profile that helps us determine what vertical you need from us or another provider. And really any industry, every industry needs to do that. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. But cannabis will have this perception, I guess, that, oh, there's going to be a ton of cash or, or maybe product or, you know, pharmaceutical places uh, get robbed, uh, armored car places get robbed, banks get robbed. People like to go where the money is. I don't know that there's that much more money or less money at any of these places or not, but you watch uh, on TV in Colorado and no one will put their money in the bank. There's more money than they know what to do with. <clears throat> It potentially could give people the wrong idea, right? I, I think that one of the things that the industry should look at doing is modeling itself off of other corporate ecosystems when it comes to security. We got to get away from the notion of, I just need security guards and I just need cameras. That all comes, that's all tools in the toolbox, right? Right. We have to focus on creating a uh, an environment where we're servicing our customers and the customer is servicing themselves by doing due diligence, vetting their suppliers, and understanding what their risk profile is. Because like you said, every company has risk. You know, and, and it's a team of attorneys, it's a team of CPAs, it's a team of folks like me that will, and our firm, that will keep that risk low. We cannot prevent anything, but we can sure as heck mitigate it. And we see this when we talk about like schools and things, trying to figure out how to make them as safe as possible, right? It's really no different. You try and figure out people who are coming to your business, where do they come, how do they come in, who checks. Um, you want to know who's in and out of your building. Access control is a big piece of it. And I think that from the stakeholder and the investor perspective, making sure that the employee is, is monitoring and documenting because what's gonna happen when there is an incident, there's no documentation, now you're going through either litigation or you're getting shut down by the state. So a lot of it is create that policy, procedure, 
and stick with it, review it annually, quarterly, and then, you know, put those, uh, we, we give all of our customers reports, you know, on our letterhead, very, very, very strategic level. This is what we believe is the risk. This is what we recommend. They can choose to use that or not, but what they do is they put it in their safe, and if there's ever an incident, they pull that out and say, we did our due diligence. On a bigger scale, look at the, the hotel industry, the, the resort industry. Yeah. There's over a, a billion dollar lawsuit because there wasn't an active shooter claim. Right. That's. And looking at uh, Michigan, being still in the early stages of the cannabis industry, there's facilities that are not yet built. There's a real advantage to having an assessment prior to even putting up your building designs, right? Yeah, so you can start to create the security program the moment you conceptualize your business, right? I mean, so when we start talking about pro forma, we could put that security budget within the pro forma. So if you're doing a capital raise or you're, you're doing a, a homegrown investment, whatever you're doing, we can help clients determine what their risk profile is and then what that budget is. Because a lot of times I hear, well, that's not in our budget. Well, what happens when you're going into litigation? Because yeah. it's going to be in your budget, when, in your you, budget when you hire the, the attorney. End, times 10. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it's one of those things where we need, to, we need to look at the industry as a corporate ecosystem because that's what it's going to turn into. A lot of conversation about black market this and black market that. We're never going to get rid of that. Right. Transnational organizations have been around for, for decades. And we're always going to fight that uh, domestic and transnational criminal element. So I think for me, it's legitimize yourself, turn your, your ecosystem into a corporate ecosystem where there's a corporate security apparatus that is reviewing all your policy procedure and risk profile. There's going to be a lot of new people coming into uh, marijuana. They just it's, it's new people. And they'll be a little scared because of, they'll think of things like, oh, the black market or this or that. How much value is it for a company to show how secure they are in advance, whether that's online, they, they share with their customers before you come, or when they get to the store, they get a, a, a strong sense of security. So the industry, essentially, we're talking about it being pharmaceutical, right? And the pharmaceutical market deals with corporate espionage on an unprecedented level globally. Um, so one of the things I would say is when companies are looking at their security profile, and they're evaluating their scalability, start small, but build big. And that's, and that's, that's the plan that, that we go with to a lot of customers. They say, well, I, I only have this much uh, ability to pay for this or that. I tell them, okay, let's write the plan. Let's scale the plan based off growth. And I've got five customers in the state, but that's what they're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And they're all gonna blow up because they're thinking about their risk, and they're making sure their stakeholder liability is low so that they can bring home that, that money at the, end of, at the end of this when they either sell, expand, or whatever the case is. All right, Steve Hernandez, The North Group, thanks for Thank joining you. us. It was great. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more from the 2019 Cannabis Industry Summit. Stay with us.